realize that over 70% of you watch my videos and you are not subscribed to the channel. Why? Okay, okay, it's okay. Just go and subscribe now. Thanks! <laughs> now I'm going to try the beans. I'll take some chicken. Oh god, this food is so good. Hey! Mm. Honestly, I did not. I, I mean, I thought it would be good, but I didn't expect it to be this good. What's my hair doing inside here? What? Senor, I don't need this right now. So I'll just get some of that beans. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> Who gave them these ideas? <laughs> I feel that that beans is just it's just mashed beans. It's really what it is. It's mashed beans, but it has a slightly sweet taste to it. I'm kind of asking myself if they put a bit of sugar in it, or if the beans is just that sweet. So I'll, I'll put some of the the spinach. I'm taking the beans from the spinach and some chicken. Oh God! Ah. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, it's so good. It's just so good. Like, it's so delicious. Oh my god. I wish I could have this every day. Or I wish I could just take a, a flask and take some of it back to Cameroon. Mmm. <laughs> mm. And this is actual poulet du village. It's very strong. <laughs> it's like the kind of chicken that they used to make cut cutting. So strong. Here they call it marathon chicken. That means that ran in the village. <laughs> and like, okay, she told me that she put the feet so that I can see how the chicken has run in, has run around the village. Look at the feet, very strong. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, I'll take some moango. Take some some shiny. Dip it in my spinach. Gosh, it's so tasty. And then it looks very plain. You know, you know that kind of person that is so smart, but they look very unintelligent. That's how this meal is. It looks like it's just some plain meal that has no flavor, but when you taste it. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. Guys, I can't even tell you guys how good this is. Mm. You have to taste it for yourself. My God. Ten over ten. I mean, I understand that they don't have a lot of food here. It's not like Cameroon will have one thousand different variations of food, but the food here, guys, mm -mm. the sucre, the sucre, my friend. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, 
there's one thing I've not tried. This oil. <clears throat> I have to try the oil. My friend, is the, the oil from a, a seed that they add to food. So I think I'm going to try it. I'll just grab. I'll just grab some mango from behind. Oh, my mango is getting finished. Then I'll get some of the spinach. Get some of the chenille. This is it. I'll just get some mapani, put it there. That's some wango. Then some spinach. I'll just pour the marula oil on it and see. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, let me try. I feel that this marula oil was made for I feel that this marula oil was made for this uh, mapani they go so well together the marula oil has um, somewhat of a fruity taste to it the taste is quite fruity and then it's a bit sour it's almost like vinegar a fruity version of vinegar yeah that's how I can describe it I'll still pour some Oh, it makes it makes the 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 mapane taste so nice. It really accentuates the taste of the mapane. Oh gosh. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Oh, this is strong chicken. <laughs> you guys look. Very strong. everything but the thing is you guys remember when i was bringing the food out i was saying that it's very small <laughs> i was wrong <laughs> i made my fault i was wrong it's very filling oh my gosh my mango is finished my mango is finished <laughs> oh my goodness ah it's so good my god I wish I got more mango. I knew that I'm mango would have been small. Because I really like it. And it's very well made. Mmm. Mmm. Well, if my mango gets finished, I think the beans, the mashed beans can replace my mango. Mm. Oh, I can just imagine mango with kati kati. It would be so nice. Hi. Okay, well, I'll just get some of the shiny and then I'll also add some chicken. I think I should add some chicken to the combo. Get some of that shiny. Then I'll pour the marula oil. Oh, it's not. I should stop calling it shiny. <laughs> it's mopane. I'll get some of that mopane. Then I'll pour the marula oil on it. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at it just sizzling down. Oh gosh. Mm. 
mean, they are two guys enjoy. It's so good. This is 20 over 10. Hmm. And as I was telling you guys, right, when I was in the restaurant, that side of town could be considered the ghetto. So, um, it's not that I feel that Namibians are harmful people, but you know when you just have a gut feeling, yeah, basically that's what happened. You just had a gut feeling that, okay, maybe you're taking it too far. <laughs> I would have really loved to see them because I, I saw people just hanging out, hanging out, you know, having fun, drinking tea, discussing and stuff. But I'm a foreigner and I've not really gotten used to. I feel like if I come here more often and I get used to, I'll feel safer. It's just the fact that I'm not used to. And to be honest, the ghetto is not that bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying for what I, I think. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. right, um, there are some places in Douala, Yaoundé that are way worse than that. So, but I just thought that for my own safety, I should go back to the other side. <laughs> but if it was in the day, rest assured, if it was in the day, rest assured, I would have stayed there, walked around, visited the place, bought some street food. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have done. I even saw people selling food, fruits on the street. I would have bought some of those, tried some new, some new fruits. But... Mm. It is what it is. When I when I came here, I got sick, so I had to, you know, sort myself out before even thinking of anything else. Mm -hmm. So probably next time. <laughs> the next day, guys, it's six a.m. I'm leaving my accommodation now to. To the, to go to the place where I was before because I have to get picked up to go back to Vinduk. So I'll just lock up and be on my way. So guys, we just stopped at some place, it's a um, mobile, so we stopped for 10 minutes to grab something to eat. I got something called chicken mayo, it's basically bread, mayonnaise, some lettuce and chicken. So um, I'll just have it, I got chicken mayo, some gum and falsh. Since I came, I've been seeing falsh, like it's a common snack here. It's made from condensed milk, so I'll just try it and see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm, this one is uh, it's nice and warm. I love it. Oh my god, I feel so sick.